Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you go to your physiotherapy, they're gonna put you in struya and you're gonna be z -z 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 like you're gonna turn into Frankenstein, I'm telling you. We are Tamara and David, an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Excuse me. Where's my katami? Where's my katami? Where's my katami? She's around. She was good, uh, afraid of the vet. She got the vac uh, vaccine, but uh, she was bleeding a little bit, so there was a little bit of blood on my skin, so I hope I don't get anything from her yet. So, and then in a day or two, I need to give her a tablet for worms, and uh, she threw up in the car. I cleaned it, because I always put her blanket, so she threw up on that. And we went for a walk in Laktashi. I went to uh, this... Uh, uh, nice cosmetic shop where, where ladies making everything natural, you know, for the hair. I'll show mm. you now. So she just opened the shop and I was recommended. Uh, they recommend me her, my little niece, she recommended me. She bought her hair oil, which you can use. So, th so these are all local products? Yes, lo uh, she's from Lactarshi, local products. And this is all natural. You can I can use even for my face massage, and um, for anything. She says it's so natural you can even drink it. So it's nothing. I'm not doing. I'm and, not doing. I'm not doing that. And I bought this as well, which is uh, for after you wash your hair, like a hair conditioner. How lucky am I? I've got some time out. I think it's important for David to go out. He hasn't been out properly in ages. So we'll just go have a pizza somewhere. So he can get in touch with the reality. <laughs> Back in touch with reality. Yes. Um, I don't know if you can see down there. I've got my burkies and I've got normal trousers. See? Looking out the window. Is this your treat? No. My treat? I'm a student. I don't have money. I study. For those that don't know, if you can see this road sign. Road signs in Bosnia-Herzegovina are normally in Cyrillic and Latinic. And that why is that then? Because different people... Different language? Different language, different scripts. So that one was all in Cyrillic and this one, as you'll see now, is a more up-to-date version. Can you see it's in two? This is a crazy junction, people. Unfinished. Crazy. Progression smear means don't go that way. It's one way. So we've arrived at somewhere we've never been before. And we don't know if it's any good. So we're going to see somebody sat outside anyway. It's called Zar, as in Tsar, Tsar. Tsar, as in Tsar. Tsar, Tsar, yeah. Like the Russian Tsar. Yes. Haven't got a clue. <laughs> How exciting on my first day out of bed in a long time. Pizza with tuna. Pizza vegetariana. Where are the pizzas? First page. First page. Uh-huh. Pizza. I ordered the Tsar's Mix. Sounds naughty, doesn't it? The Tsar's Mix pizza. 
show you soon. Now that's what I call a pizza. Oh, that looks very good. And look at this. Looks like we found a new pizza place. Oh, this is like a dream. Taste. Mm, amazing. Amazing. The thing I can't understand though about being in Bosnia Herzegovina is people like to put mayonnaise on the pizza it's very good i get the oh, uh, so i get the ketchup but not the mayonnaise this is so good. do you have mayonnaise on yours normally no but it, it tastes very good you should try it people like it my dessert is a pancake with fruit fruits of the forest and ice cream Hope you enjoy watching this because it's about to disappear down my tummy. Nice meal in Za restaurant. This restaurant is in Sar, David. Sar. Restaurant Sar. 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 And we're in turn. We are in turn, yes. What do you think of it? Oh, the pizza was marvelous, very good. Yeah, the pizza was Enjoyable. really good. Lovely. What do you think about the restaurant? This is a hole. Will we come here again? Yes, definitely. Looks nice. I like it. Yeah. I had, uh, as you saw, um, we had the sar mix. Pizza. Pizza. And I had... Which we could only eat half of it. Yeah, we, we, we've got to go. <laughs> we bagged it. We doggy bagged it. Yes. And um, the dessert, which was fruit of the forest, uh, Palachinka, which is pancakes with uh, they have a kite. wonderful, oh, wonderful ice cream as well, was it? So for us, the next stop is the hole in the wall, the uh, bankomat, the getting the money out, and then we're we'll, the, the ATM, and then we're going home. Yes. And my ankle is aching. How long have we been out? An hour? Two hours? hour and a half so yeah David needed to go out because uh, the only way he goes out is to see his doctor and uh, problem with his foot so this is like a therapy Malo, psychological therapy with his wife Tamara you know <laughs> we went for pizza step one for kefir is it yes pasteurize the milk this is goats organic goats milk so just the other day, out of the goat. Yesterday. Yesterday, but I didn't pasteurize it yesterday because we were in town. It's fresh goat's milk. Goat's milk, it's better than cow's milk. I don't like goat's milk. It's better than cow's milk for humans because uh, many people uh, who are uh, lactose intolerant they can tolerate this milk because uh, this milk is a very low in lactose. When will, when will this turn into kefir then? Well, when it's cooled off, I have to uh, put the kefir uh, mushrooms in. Mm -hmm. When are you going to do that? Tomorrow? I can do it later today. Two litres of fresh, unpasteurized goat milk. So I take it this is just now boil it up? No, you don't boil it. You pasteurize it. Pasteurize it is uh, up to 80 Celsius. Because if you boil it, you kill everything in the milk because it's healthy, like vitamins. And so do you have a knack of when it's got to 80 Celsius or do you use a thermometer? Yes, when it starts to uh, walk like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> when it starts to shiver mm -hmm. and a little scum, uh, how do you say, kaimak on top. Uh -huh. That's about. Okay. That's finished then. Because I don't have thermometer. 
I used to have one. It's my birthday coming up, so maybe you can get me one. <laughs> yeah, that's so romantic. What did you get me? A Kymac or a yeah, a Kymac thermometer. Thermometer for milk. Thermometer. Oh. Not for Kymac. Okay. You don't need thermometer to make Kymac. Okay. And uh, I need sewing machine so I can make some Gucci masks. And other stuff because we always need it. This is where this clip goes. And this is? Deer. Deer. This is not vegan friendly. This is definitely not a vegan friendly meal. I've never cut this. So what do I do? Slice it or joint it? No point. <laughs> well, usually my dad cuts it, but he's off now. He's off now, yeah. Yes. We'll yeah. ask my colleague. She'll tell us what to do, yeah? Yes. starts wiggling around when it's finished you switch it off and that's yeah, about 80 Celsius <laughs> that's the old way red wine or white wine but in the recipe that I found it says the white wine Yellen. Yes? Uh, Deer. Deer. How many kilos? I don't know. No point. Can I fog up? What did you eventually put in? Smashed them. And Svashta is? Svashta is, I put the malo salt, malo vegeta, I put a little bit of... Uh, salt, vegeta. Uh, bay leaf, garlic, Nick, onion. lots of onions, a few corns, a few peppercorns. And now I'm going to buy some white wine. I put it in and some tomato juice at the end. But I have tomato juice for me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is venison goulash. Yes. That will be eaten by family of Pecinovich, excluding Maika Lily. Why not? Because Maika Lily refuses to eat venison. Uh, venison. Venison. Or deer. She refuses. <laughs> All the more for us. I thought your venison goulash was gorgeous yesterday. Did you like it really? Yeah. Ah, I've been bitten. Bitten by horsefly. Or something, I don't know. Oh my god. I've, they bit through the sock. I've been bitten a bit. Yeah, I've been bitten a bit. So, this is sea penna pita, yes? No. It's Italian recipe, David. Okay. So, these are apples from those trees down there. And very soon, this little bit of grape here, plus all those grapes there, plus all the grapes at the top of the garden are going to be harvested. Decision, juice? Wine, wine, wine. Wine. You didn't we take. Didn't you didn't take too long to say no. wine. Uh, but your dad doesn't want to do it. No. 
Shall we? Think shall we? Had enough of the work. Shall we do it on our own? Yes. By the way, Tam is being bitten by horseflies today. Oh, and mosquitoes. And mosquitoes. I don't think it's horseflies. It's just normal flies. They bite before the rain. It's okay. nice, nice being sat outside again, though. Yes, I'm gonna go in the house. So so we're just about to enjoy another apple cake from Tamara. That's the end of this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's life, daily life, our life in Northern Bosnia Herzegovina. If you want to find out more about it, then why not just keep following us? Subscribe to the channel, press that notification bell. You'll never miss a post that way. And also give us a thumbs up because that's great as well. We post every Tuesday and every Friday. Hopefully we won't be droning on too much about my ankle in future videos so yes as i said that's it for now we'll catch you on the next one stay safe wherever you are in the world